Okay, so I'm uh, going to, these are the instructions for the calculating formulas lab. The very first part is A equals F over M or acceleration equal force times mass. You are uh, going to be using your force sensor. And uh, if, you pick the, if you pick up your lab quest, turn it on, press and hold the button. The uh, force sensor only plugs into these things at the top. I'd put it in channel one. It should automatically start up. Um, we are going to be, you want to switch it over to the uh, 10 Newtons. And then it's going to ask you to hook it up to your block. You read the instructions, hook the block up to the force sensor, which I just did. Pull the block and read how much force you use. So you pull the block and you look and see. It's going to change a little bit, so you may want to pull it very steadily to get and give me a, about what it says. Mine looked like it was about uh, 550. Uh, anyway, um, then you're going to want to take the mass of your block by coming up here and to the front table and putting your block on the, the balance and it'll tell you how many grams it is. So now you know um, how much force you have. And here's your, you know how much force because you got that off your lab quest. You know how much mass you got that off the electronic balance. You are going to get a, uh, do some little math and figure out the acceleration of how fast you sped up with your block of wood. And don't forget the units. So the second part is an out, uh, an altitude one. Altitude is gravity times time, and I give you gravity right here. Uh, somebody can stand on one of their stools, and you have a little ball like this, and it might be better to have the same person drop it as starts the timer. First, you want to unplug your force sensor, and it should go back to what you have. You have a little stylus in the back. Hit the thing that looks like a house. There's a little button that looks like a house and choose stopwatch. So you're literally gonna get a stopwatch on here. So holding it high, a, a person should try to, and I don't know, you might not be able to have the same person do it, but you should drop the ball at the same instant somebody hits start, and as soon as it hits the ground, they should hit stop. That will tell you how long it took the ball to fall. Then you'll do a little math, and you'll figure out how high you held up the ball because this formula right here should tell you the altitude by, uh, but that, out that formula, by the way, only works uh, with free fall. And of course you didn't have anything slowing the ball's fall. So uh, the next part, again, what we're trying to do is use these formulas. You are collecting the data and putting the data in the formulas. We've already learned how to use the formulas. We've used them in word problems. Now you are collecting your own data. All right, so the next one is velocity equals distance over time. Roll the ball slowly down the length of the table. So uh, I would probably go from the end of the table toward the wall so you're not chasing this thing all over the room. Uh, so and you wanna roll it slowly because if you try to go too fast, somebody's not gonna be able to start and stop the timer. So um, you are going to roll the ball. As soon as you let it go, start the timer. And as soon as it hits the wall, stop the timer. You need to know though where you let the ball go. You might want to, you know, maybe put a piece of paper and that's, you're going to let go of the ball as soon as you hit the piece of paper. Um, then you're going to measure the distance the ball rolled from where you let it go to the wall. And you're going to uh, use that as distance. And the time will be the time your lab quest says from the time you let it go to the wall. And you're going to calculate the velocity of, uh, this thing rolling across your table. And the last one is an acceleration problem. And uh, you're gonna have to find the mass of this. So you'll have to put it on the scale. I only have one out, so you have to come up here and do it at this table. Uh, it's gonna tell you the acceleration. You're gonna find the mass. And again, don't forget, um, it says find the mass of the ball by putting it on the electronic balance. So you're going to write the mass of the ball right here using F equals MA formula, calculate the force that was applied. 
So if your acceleration was this much and your mass is this much, you should be able to get force because force equal mass times acceleration. So again, uh, that's what our lab is. Uh, you have a meter stick to measure that distance. Have fun.